Okay, guys, so I'm really nervous about this little project. <laughs> We're going to be trying to dye some acrylic yarn with some rip dyes. I have these. So I'm going to do orange and brown and um. Yeah, I'm going to try and do sort of a gradient effect. Now I'm just going to find little notes. Okay, so we'll start with the orange. I've got these bottles. Here I've marked some levels on. Small amounts in each bottle, so twenty-five. Uh, twenty-five. Yeah, I can see twenty-five. Okay, twenty-five orange. Let's just have a little. I'm gonna use. Oh, this could get messy. <laughs> I'm going to use this cotton as a little dip tester, see what the colours are like. Obviously it's probably going to be quite different when you add water and everything, but I just want to see. Okay, it's quite a dark, vibrant orange, so mm, I'm torn, do I just go straight orange? Or do I stick with the plan and add a tiny bit of the brown? Just, just about five mil, I think I'm going for. Um, Pairs. Yeah, I've softened it up a little bit. Gonna be my orangest shade. Um, I think I'm okay with that. Let's go for <coughs> the next one up, which would be. Ten orange. No, sorry, that's 20 orange, and I'm going to add 10 brown. I knew that wasn't right. Oh, I forgot to switch the microphone on. There we go. Right, so we'll see how that looks. all as in layers, I should be able to do this. 
very brown. Uh, I'm not sure if that orange is making much of a difference there. I shall see. And the next one will be ten orange. Wait. <laughs> oh dear. I did it the wrong way around, didn't I? So this one needs to be ten brown. Twenty orange. So that should be the next grape mint. So let's try that. I thought it went brown rather fast. It's still very brown. Let's have a look. Yeah. So these two in the middle, I'm probably going to have to have a play with, add more orange. And then of course, we're just going to have a drop of orange. And then the rest brown. different to that one. Yeah, barely, okay. Um, let's see, do we want to add... I'm going to take these up a bit higher, since we've got a lot of dye left. I'm not sure how I did my calculations. <laughs> Let's take them up to 50. Okay. So orange to each of those. Let's test again. Okay, I can see a bit more orange in that now. one is more orangey. <laughs> hmm. These two in the middle need a bit of work. I'm 
Okay. Let's add more orange to this one. our orange and I'm going to need to label these somehow in a moment so orange those lids aren't staying on so that's going to be a problem because I'm not buying them straight away <laughs> I have to put them on the shelf yeah secure Um, let's add more orange to this one. more orange to this one and some more brown to this one so I don't know if I said I'm buying an acrylic aran yarn which I have made into skeins using the cat's bed <laughs> to wrap it around not enough difference in these colours. Let's take that straight up to 75. Just see what the darkest brown looks like. Okay, so there is difference there. That's good. Okay. So just take these up to seventy five. Um, bit 
more than 75. <laughs> and then I'll just fill the rest of this up. does look slightly different in the bottom so let's just have one more dip So we've got like a nice reddish brown. And then A little bit more on. Yeah, it's a bit lighter now. Yep. Okay. That'll do. So now this is down to dyeing. Um, I'm expecting these colours to be a lot paler on the yarn. It would be lovely if we got some of these autumnal tones, but it's going to be autumnal, but I think it will just be a lot lighter because I'm going to be diluting it in a lot of water. I've got 800 grams of yarn to dye in 200 to 100 skeins each. So two for that one, two for that one, two for that one, two for that one. If that makes sense. Okay. <laughs> so next thing you will see is me dying the yarn. Wish me luck. Okay, so quickly, I've got this heating now. I tried to leave it overnight to see if that would work with like a cool kind of situation, but no. So I'm a bit worried about felting the yarn because it's, it says it can only wash it at 30. So I'm just going to try gently heating it. I tried to rinse it and the colour was just coming out. So thankfully there was a little bit of colour left in the pan. It's up completely, so hopefully, we'll get some colour. Okay, so some areas are quite pink, and we've got these orange tones. Yes, at least the colour stayed though. We can get some interesting effects, some really light bits over top, but the water was rinsing clear, so just let it drip dry and start the next one. That's a really interesting result. We've got sort of pink, pink, and then purple. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two and I'm going to over dye them with some more of that chocolate and see if we get more of a mid between these two. Well, okay guys, this was totally not what I was expecting. Um, so we have the first batch, the second, third and fourth. So these were supposed to be sort of oranges going into browns. Um, and we've ended up with sort of peach, dusky pink, a sort of a lavender, well, not lavender, lilac y, purpley colour, and then grey purple. Well, it's interesting, and I think it's going to be a nice nice effect still so I'll still use it um, but you can tell by these ties that it's definitely the yarn because that is sort of a brownie orange and we've got browns and we've got oranges there and we've got what I was expecting from these but we've got I suppose this is sort of the bright colour can't really be mad at that. <laughs> but yeah, that was an interesting experiment and uh, a nice surprise. Purple is one of my favourite colours, so I don't know. Maybe the universe is telling me that I need to do purple. <laughs> so yeah, now I need to sit down and ball all these up so I can do my knitting project. Um, well, I hope you enjoyed that experiment with uh, the Rit dies. And I will see you again soon. Bye.